I'm gonna fly! Clear! Well, that was a lot of fun. I'm so glad we got to meet up with Max and Steve-O. was. Actually, it was a really good lunch. We're going to have to check this place out more often. Yeah. <laughs> it's definitely worth the trip. Even if it is a short trip. <laughs> yeah, my mahi was great. Yeah. So moist. Definitely fresh. Good thing about living on the coast. Did you eat my, my lobster stuff flounder? I did. Did you like I it? I think there was a little bit too much sauce on oh, it. Oh, God, no. But... It was awesome. I think I wanted to pay attention to more of the the organic flavors than I did the sauce. Oh. I'll go ahead and follow them out. And it's traffic, you have a citation. We're crossing runway 13 on Echo, texting runway 5. Venice traffic. Venice traffic, you have a Baron crossing 13 at Echo, Venice. Is that Baron pilot? <laughs> Is that Steve-O in Citation Max? I feel like the wind's died down a little bit. Uh, maybe a little bit. That sock's still kicking. Yeah, but it's not straight out like it was before. No, but before we, um, before we did that right turn, it, the other sock was. <laughs> kind of scary that that golf course is right there. <laughs> yeah. Don't hit my plane. Have a safe flight, guys. I do, you too. <laughs> you gotta love Max. You're so cute, Max. Love you too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Such a good guy. Little sweetheart. Oh, I literally have boob sweat. Boob sweat. That boob sweat though. Holy crap. Finish traffic, Baron 3175 Whiskey's taking runway 5 for a shoreline departure, Venice. Alright, we are clear right, go ahead and close your door. Good. How high are you going to be along the shoreline? 1,000 feet for 75 Whiskey. Go about 5 miles south now at 1,100 feet. Um, just so you're looking out for me, it's a Piper Cherokee. Roger that. Are you 5-4 Lima? Yes, I am. All right, I got you on the ADSB. I will keep an eye out for you. Thank you much. All right. Here we go. You show me right around 1,200 feet now? I show you 1,100 right now. All right, gauges in the green. Is it, can you turn on my noise canceling? Yes. Alright. Alright, gauges in green. Airspeed speed alive, 84 knots. Woo, positive rate. You're up. Woo, it's hot. All right, 500 feet. Let's go ahead and head out to the shore. Pull the power back. 25 inches. Oh, suddenly I got air coming through. Uh, you're welcome. Whatever you did, that was awesome. Finish epic, Baron 3175 Whiskey is departing west for shoreline for last call of Venice. All right, so we gotta keep an eye on this guy right here. And he disappeared. <laughs> Yep. I see him. You got him? Yep. Oh, yep, I see him too. I'm actually going to go in the bay to the shoreline. It's going to be on the right. Yep. It's so dirty. Dirty water. Let me know with my controls. Uh, I'll tell you what, let's, uh,. You want them? You sure. got the traffic still? Or did you lose them? Uh, I've got them. Okay. If you got them, then they're your controls. Alright, where are we at? We're at 900. 900, yeah. 
we'll go right through here. You gonna take him or not? Yeah, well, yeah. We'll see if I can keep. Yeah, it's a little bumpy today, so we got yeah. the power pull dock, which will keep us nice and slow. The slower we go, the less bumpy it should feel. And then just kind of turn in and also be a pretty view for the cameras. Purdy. Wow. Yep. Kind of scary. You're good. I'm, I'm going to keep my hand on here. I know, I'm not, that's I'm fine. I'm not, not putting in inputs, I'm just keeping my hand on here, okay? Yeah, because I'm... I know, that's why I'm going to keep my hand on there. I've got traffic. You got him? Yep, he's at 2 o'clock. Yep, I got him. Oh, he's way out there, okay. Yeah. He looks so much closer on yeah, the... Yeah, he's like 5 uh, miles out. On the screen. Oh, he's turning in. Yeah, he is. So what we can do if he's turning in is turn towards him. That'll let him cross inside of us. Let's, let's go to the right. Go, go, aim at him, and then let him, and then hold that, that heading. Okay. There we go. A little more. A little more. And there, and hold that. It's interesting. The IFR is a different world. Yeah. Well, that's why, now you see why I love flying IFR. For the separation. Of course, right. it wouldn't be this low. Which that adds an element to it as well. Right. There you go. See how like we got somebody nine hundred up coming at us seven and a half out. Yeah, he's a thousand above us. He's still like four or five miles away and honestly we're getting ready to turn. You're doing fantastic. I have not put any input in just so you know. I mean you can feel if I do anyways, I think, but just wanted you to know this is all you. I've got him. Definitely no factor. Interesting how you come right inland, you know, just a couple miles, and and that wind just starts. Oh yeah. Well, remember bashing you. So part of what turbulence is, in addition to the wind, turbulence is is caused now, by the. How much further into keep, keep going straight, and okay. we're going to intercept this line right here. Okay. Um, is the uneven heating of the Earth's surface. So. Um, Mountains, so, so water. when you go from water to land and the concrete, like all that creates different heating, right? So based on that, that you get updrafts and and, and non-updrafts, and then you add wind into it, and you get a day like today. So do you see that? Am I? Whoa! Geez. I put input that time. Okay. <laughs> Thanks. Bird, one o'clock. Oh. Squirrel, bird, bird. Yeah, they're probably loving this wind. Yeah, I just saw a bird uh, flying against the wind. It was funny. He thought he was going somewhere. Don't go any lower. Uh, I'm trying to keep it up. Yep. I also feel like the seat got moved back. Move the seat back. It could have. Never admit to anything. Oh, I didn't touch it. I'm not talking about today. I'm talking about like... Oh yeah, when I mean like when I go get out of the airplane? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I did. <laughs> I gotta be able to crawl out, honey. Then I'll start making it a habit of just moving it up every time. Yeah, absolutely. I'm gonna go to the tower, Baron 3175, Whiskey is 1-3 to the west of the shoreline, inbound, full stop. Baron 3175, Whiskey, Roger, just uh, reported three miles straight in for runway four. Three miles straight in for four, Sound by Whiskey. All right, no more descending. Get back to 1,000, hit that back to zero, zero. So you see the airport just off to the yes. 11 o'clock. So we continue this heading until we intercept this and then we'll cut into four. Okay. So here's a little secret. If you see this right here, if you put that white line on that yellow line. Yeah. Can you, can you look or no? Yeah, I, I saw. You put the white line on the yellow line, then you keep that, that'll help you intercept. And then as that little yellow line starts to move, you then start turning to keep the white line on the yellow line. All right, go on approach flaps. Tower Baron 3175, Whiskey's on a three mile final. Baron 75, Whiskey cleared land runway 4, the wind 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0
Sorry, son. A little busy right now. All right. Air glide slip intercept. You're going down. The runway four is actually on the right. right? Correct. Get Correct. The other way is the taxiway. Correct. Uh, 500. 500 feet. We are three green. You're clear to land. We don't want. We're descending a little too much. So I'm going to sneak a little power in to help you. Looks like the wind is off our right, so we need to kind of cheat over a little more. You're going to have to help. Okay, I'll help you. I don't know what a little bit more means. It means just, just get us on center line. So I don't really care, just get us over. There we go. All right, you keep your hands on there, but I'm going to take the controls. Okay. Okay. All right, 500 feet, we are three green, we are clear to land, so let's full flaps. Okay, so I'm gonna, you can't feel the rudder pedals. I think you're too far back, but pulling the power out. I'm gonna end up dipping the, the right wing to the wind, and I'm gonna push the left rudder pedal. Sorry, flight for Lima. We're about three and a half okay. out. Is it possible for us to get runway nine? Yes, sir, I thought that was the plan. Hours out. Uh, I guess I missed your... Uh, Technology. How's it much better? Yeah, I said just report straight in nine crossing 41. Yep, now I remember. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no worries. You're uh, clear to land runway nine. Traffic just rolling out on runway four. No factor. Wind zero nine or zero one seven. If we leave clear to land runway nine, look into the traffic. Yeah, he's, he's exiting the runway no factor. November seven five whiskey turn left there, Charlie, and contact ground one one nine or five five. Left on Charlie over the ground. Thanks for your help, Sam Well, that was a fun little flight. Hope you guys enjoyed the entire adventure going out to uh, Venice and uh, seeing Steve-O and Max. Although, we didn't really get to see Steve-O and Max a whole lot, but we did. And a nice little flight back along the coast. See, it's pretty bumpy. All this wind. But Kim did a fantastic job as always. Nice job. Honey. Thank you. Ground control, Cessna uh, 94097. Coming out of the 600. Like to go to the key to turbulence fleet. is uh, 94097. Slow it down. Uh, ground tax down for you. Lower you go, the, the, the less the turbulence can affect you. The faster you go, the more it affects you. So we pulled the power by, took it slow. Just let me know when you get there. So it was all good. I would definitely yeah, say yeah, that's no, one of my more going, nervous uh, flights. Yeah, I can see it. Well, because you haven't dealt with your events yet. Yeah. All right, we're clear right, we're clear left, and we're cleared across. Not just that I haven't dealt with the turbulence before. Yep. That's the traffic yeah. who was on that we saw talked to on the shoreline. Asked for nine. And then asked for nine. Same guy. Yep. Which is straight into the wind for him, which is great. The Cherokee. That's why he's asking for it. More in the wind for him. But we need use up too much runway. I'm not landing on that. So yeah, you know, it's just experience. I mean, I don't enjoy turbulence. I'm, I'd be lying if I told you I did. And I wouldn't even be a good liar. Well, part of, like I was saying is part of it is not just the, the turbulence itself that we're going through. It's the hand flying, the turbulence, trying to maintain the altitude. Just, just all the factors. It gets me a little nervous. Yeah, turbulence is not fun. And uh, it's one of those things that you can't teach. You just have to experience. Anyhow guys, if you like these videos, as always, hit that thumbs up and that subscribe button. Biggest uh, thank you we can get is your subscription to our channel. If you don't already, follow me on Beach Bear and Pilot on social media and Kim at Flying SIC on Instagram. And if you want some Bear and Pilot swag, go to bearandpilotshop.com. And if you want to uh, support this channel, you can go on to Patreon at patreon.com forward slash Bear and Pilot. So anyhow guys, uh, until next time, I hope you enjoyed this one. Stay safe, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Love that. I'm trying to land an airplane.